What do you mean you're nothing? I'm nothing. I'm silver. We both suck. Alright, let's go. Let's go. I do need to do one thing with the camera because I forgot to do it before I uh, went live. So let's fix that real quick. So give me one second and then we'll get going here. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome into Manzi's cooking show. Oh my god, that setting is terrible. That would have been a nightmare. <laughs> Don't upset Lord Edgy. What happens if I upset him? Hmm. I know what would have upset him. Poor camera control. That would have done it. For sure. Okay, let's start. You know what's really exciting, actually? We're getting a new stovetop, like, in a couple weeks. I am so excited. Hello, everybody. Welcome in. Welcome in. Man, we got some shadows in here today. Let's see if we can brighten this place up a little bit. It's a little gloomy outside. The sun is popping through, though. It's been thunderstorms all weekend long. There you go. Wonderful. We here now. What's up, Mamos? Hello. Hello, hello. All right, let's get right down the business. So the very first thing that we need to do, meatloaf takes about an hour in the oven, y'all. So we need to get that going ASAP. Yeah, let there be light. Do you want to see a hunk of meat? Look at this. <laughs> Is this enough beef? Holy shit. I might have to get a baggie for this. Enough beef for the whole village. Yeah, you missed it all, Ligma. You missed the speech and the house. Holy crap, this one is really bright, though. Hold on, hold on. That won't do. Let's dim it down a little bit. There we go, that looks a little bit better. We just gotta stay away from it. Yeah, we can work with that. So yeah, I hope you're uh, you're doing okay, Tifferonis. Enjoy the stream. I know meatloaf is not your favorite, but I love a good meatloaf, and I would like to make it. So we're gonna we're gonna be uh, making a serious cookout here, or at least somebody I remember told me they don't like meatloaf. Maybe you haven't had the right meatloaf, whoever it is. You're too bright, Ligmantis. It is a little bright. It wasn't this bad last time. Weird. Wild. It's not horrible, though. I just look like I'm, like, in a, you know, like, a knight in shining armor, man. Like, ascending. If I'm, like, close up, though, it looks fine. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Okay. By the way, I can't get this stain. This is from Pizza Sauce Bros. The stain will not come off. Like, are you kidding me? Damn pizza sauce. Unbelievable. Alright, here we go. Maybe I am just light. You know? Shine like a diamond. <laughs> Stains of glory. Am I right? Dude, look at this. Is that enough meat, bros? It's literally a brick of meat. Holy shit. We are making meatloaf, mashed taters, and roasted asparagus. 
And it's going to be delicious, baby. So right now we got to mix it all together. This is 90%. <laughs> Show us how you handle. <laughs> oh my Lanta. Oh my Lanta. Get your mind out of the gutter. Dude, that looks that looks a fire. Let's take a little bit more out of there. Sheesh. You got that randomizer working. Let's go. Hell yeah, bro. All right, we got to get this in a bag. Hey, I'm allowed to fresh. <laughs> what does that even mean? I'm allowed to fresh? Hello? What is allowed to... What is fresh? Is that some lingo? Don't skimp. I am... Bro. I'll show you. I'll show you. This is going to be thick with three C's, bros. All right, come on now. I don't want to get my hands all dirty. Get on in there. Get on in there. Boom. Yeah, lazy, it's happening. We talked about this, bro. Wait till you see this shit. Look at all that meat, baby. You guys think that's enough meat? Well, Mamos, I asked my family. I was like, asparagus? Would you guys rather have green beans or asparagus? And they said asparagus. So we're doing asparagus. Yeah, it's loafing time, baby. Hmm. Do we add more? What do you, one in the chat if you want more meat. Maybe a little bit more. A little bit more meat won't hurt nobody. <laughs> That's what she said. All right, there we go, there we go. A little more meat in there. We're going full country today. All right, so we got that in there. We got to dice up an onion real quick. We're doing a sweet onion today because we're going to have some tangy sweet stuff in this meatloaf like ketchup, so... We want it to have a little bit more of that sweet flavor. <laughs> one, 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 one. Yeah, I know, Mamos. I was surprised. I thought they would have said green beans, but no, they said asparagus, so we got some asparagus. You know? I was surprised too, man. Yeah, how is everybody this evening, huh? Y'all excited? We back at it. No, no hollandaise sauce. Who is that a normal thing? I've never heard of meatloaf with hollandaise sauce. Now the the norm that I'm aware of is <laughs> barbecue sauce or ketchup is what I am familiar with. Wait, hollandaise for asparagus? Wait, I'm so confused. Explain, explain. You have me curious. Dude, fresh roasted green beans would have been fire. But no, we're not making a hollandaise sauce. That's like a breakfast sauce. Type one in the chat if you've had hollandaise sauce with asparagus. I've never heard that before. I believe you though. It sounds good. Use ketchup, mustard, and brown ch Yes. I'm surprised you put mustard on it. We're not actually using mustard today. Thank God. Do we need to do a breakfast stream? We're going to do that next week. How's that sound, y'all? 
Who is down for a breakfast cooking stream? Dude, we should make some banana bread and then make banana bread French toast. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Yeah, that let's go. What's up, Blackthorn? Banana chocolate chip pancake. I don't know, man. What do you guys all think? Type one in the chat if you prefer pancakes, two for waffles, or three for French toast. Which one is your favorite? I'm a French toast enjoyer, personally. I absolutely love French toast, man. Not that I don't like the other ones, but... Dude, I just got onion juice in my eye. Can we have a moment of silence for my loss? It's burning. It hurts! And this one doesn't even need sliced. Easy, easy peasy. Honestly, the biggest advice that I could give you guys with cutting onions, well, I can't show you now, but if you cut it the way that doesn't seem normal, it makes it so the onion juice doesn't make your eyes water. It's actually a huge tip. All right, let's get these onions in there. All nice and mixed. And take this one out and two eggs honestly I think I I would rate dude this is gonna be a hot take I would say pancakes are probably my least favorite out of the three and it's not because they're bad it's just because waffles waffles are great and French toast is just godly Waffles are better than pancakes because you can, um, like the, the syrup gets in the little pockets, you know? They're just like little pockets of deliciousness. And that's just the way it is, you know? All right, we got the two eggs in there. What else are we doing? We are putting in some good old ketchup. It'd help if I preheated the oven, yeah? I agree. I agree, Mamos. I'm with you. I haven't had super greasy pancakes before, but I can totally imagine that. So. Hold on, let's move this over here so y'all can see this. All right. How you doing, Blackthorn? How was your stream last night, bud? some parsley so normally I would use fresh parsley but unfortunately when I got home the parsley that I had was not good anymore unlucky so we got to use dried parsley today I know I know culinary sin I know that's gonna be a lot of parsley actually What kind of pancakes would you pick, Ligma? Three, 
Three fourths a cup of breadcrumbs. Let's go. Yeah, I feel like almost every cooking stream we've done, or at least half of them, have used breadcrumbs. That's wild. Yeah, I gotta try that though. Hollandaise sauce on asparagus. Tips, you have me intrigued. Onions. Oh, wait, almost all you've seen have used onions. Used onions on what? On pancakes? I know, I feel like every time I have fresh herbs, I always end up throwing away half of it. Because they give you way too much of it. Oh, Mamos, I... I literally use onions in everything, dude. I don't think I've made something that doesn't have onions in it in probably a year. Yeah, fresh herbs. Regular pancakes with some strawberry jam. Okay. Okay. All right, and then we got to put in a little milk. Now, this is when it gets weird. I haven't done this before, but let's give it a go. I'm curious. Yeah, smoke some fresh herbs, baby. Dude, I'm starving. Who, who's hungry as, as hell right now, man? I am starving. Italian seasoning. We're almost done here. Maybe alcohol. Do you have alcohol tips? You normally don't. I will put extra in for all the shit you've been through. Hell yeah, mama. That's what I'm talking about. Tips, do you want to see me drink some alcohol? Is that what you're saying? Dude, this is not working. Come on, give me more, baby. That just won't do. Some salt. Good old-fashioned salt and pepper. And then it looks like we're done here. I'm full as fuck right now drinking some water in a blunt wrap. Let's go. Oh, you need to buy some new Pokeballs. So you go down into the panel tips. Are you on your phone or the computer? There's a store and you have to buy more Pokeballs. And then it'll work. And then no, you're not using actual money. There's like an in-game currency. So you don't have to worry about that. Sheesh, Tiffs! What you gonna have? What kind of wine? Remind me, what was it again? Alright, a little bit of paprika, too. And that'll top it off here. Damn, this looks like fire! Beatbox! Alright, look at all these goodies in there. Let's mix it up. I'm tempted to just stick my hands in there. I've heard those beatboxes are pretty solid, actually. To be honest. Polka D's nuts. Ligma, I've been playing more Street Fighters. Guess what rank I am right now. Don't worry, I haven't played that much. I played like 
two hours today off stream. Damn, this is looking to fire. This ratio, though. Let's go. All right, here you go. Here, y'all. There's the base. Yeah, Blackthorn. I was having a blast with it. Dude, I was up to like 7 in the morning playing that shit. It is really fun. I was having a blast. Alright, and then we got a meatloaf pan. It's a little fancy, but we don't want the grease. So all the grease while it's cooking is going to fall into this pan. It's a little fancy. Because that's the number one issue with meatloafs that I've experienced. Is they get greasy. So we're going to eliminate that grease. I feel like most people that say they don't like meatloaf is either they don't like ground beef. They don't like the stuff mixed with it or it's because it's too greasy. Alright, that looks great. I think we're ready here. So we're going to put this in there, mix it up a little bit. Let's actually spray the sides too. I don't want this to stick. Alright, perfect. Is that at work right now, Tiffs? What's he up to? Guy's been a busy man. Dude, this is gonna be fire, dude. I am so excited. This is that a little extra meat is taking this over the top. Oh shit! This is a beefy boy. Let's go. Right? That is what she said. Eds, what are you doing right now? Are you playing Street Fighters behind my back? Where's the stream, bro? <laughs> All right, y'all. The meatloaf is getting ready to go in. The oven is not there yet. It's very close, though. Look at that. Sheesh, that's the perfect amount of meat. That's what she said. Actually, the perfect amount. Yo, Blackthorn, if you get Street Fighters, man, we can 1v1 and shit. It'd be dope. I... That's cool.
Let's start working on our potatoes. Man, we've made mashed potatoes a lot lately, but dude, mashed potatoes hit. Do it, Mamos. Look, dude, Ed is probably so happy right now. Everybody is playing Street Fighters now. Let's go. I know, dude. Look at this. Look at this thing. Sheesh. Meatloaf, taters, and asparagus, baby. Don't get better than that. Coming to the dark side. <laughs> Dude, ads. When do you, are you at work? Are you working soon? You need the 1v1 me. There's a specific thing I need you to keep just hitting me with. So I can learn how to defend against it. And once I figure that out, I'm a god, basically. Ma I literally to master tier. <laughs> oh lord. Turkey meatloaf. I've never had a turkey meatloaf. Actually. Yeah, Blackthorn. If you buy it, you'll you can you can play it with me, dog. You'll have somebody that can play with you. The best way to learn in that game is to 1v1 your friend for like an hour and just beat the shit out of each other. In a game, of course. So I'm really bad at blocking low eds. And also. Yeah, what what was it specifically? I know you don't play like Cammy and all them. But I need to learn anti-air better. I need to learn how to uppercut anti-airs instead of the little baby punch. Dude, I want some turkey meatloaf. I'd love that probably. That sounds fire. Also, if anybody in here would like to be a mod, I am going to be opening applications pretty soon here. I'm looking for people specifically that are able to be in the stream at like 2 in the morning to 3 in the morning. Because I don't have any Super Night Owl mods. Esten was interested because he's an Aussie, so he's like, you know, always awake. But if there's somebody else that thinks they might be interested by that, the applications will be open. Yeah, but that's not as fun, Ed. I also need to, um, practice drive impacting. Not to, like, landing it, but learning what combos I can do after landing one. So I need to practice that too. You know, get the max damage in. So. Oh, it's time, baby. Let's go. So this is going in at 375 for 40 minutes. And I just turned the oven off. What a bozo, dude. Well, yeah, I was trying to learn how to do other stuff then. But now I'm ready to learn. I had to learn other stuff first. You know? Dude, I am going at a snail's pace. Dude, Mamos, when I got that game the very first time, he literally beat me like 20 rounds in a row. I got annihilated.
literally annihilated. Also, Mamos, the fact that your Lost Origin pack was $6 blew my mind. They are not, they're like $4 here. That was wild. nine dollars <laughs> bro mamos literally if you send me if you send me 45 dollars mamos i can literally buy you an etb for that much and then ship it to you and that would cost like 55 dollars for 10 packs that is crazy <laughs> hey the smile using a sub of his own. Let's go. Thanks for the sub smile. Come <laughs> Oh my god, six months? Sheesh. No gifters anymore. Nine dollars for crowned zenith. Wow, dude. That is too much. All right, that's it. I'm never moving to Canada. It's been decided. It'll make my addiction twice as expensive. Where's my gifter, bro? <laughs> All right. Dude, this peeler sucks, by the way. I lose so much potato using it. What's up, Eds? You think so? What if I'm just really good at them, huh? What if I'm just a god, dude? Then what? Dude, I haven't even seen AGP to know that they can spam. But the the spinning kick would dodge all of his spam, so. That dodges all of that bullshit. See, I know what's up. In theory, it does. What <laughs> I, of course I would time it right. I never make mistakes. Obviously, bro. Sorry, I'm get, just getting some water in this pan, y'all. I know I'm not on the screen, but it's nothing too excited. We gotta get some water boiling. for these potatoes. You want to see some cheeks? Bro, here. Here, Tiffs. Here's them cheeks. <laughs> For free. Hell yeah, 45. Only 82. Let's go.
The silver, dude, silver JP doesn't exist. Because everyone that plays JP is higher than that because he's busted. <laughs> oh, sorry, Eds. The cheeks were for you, buddy. For free. For free. <laughs> yeah, bozos. Yeah. Every day, 45, you remind me. I will never move to Texas. Every day. Oh, there's a little dark spot on this one. Get out of here. Yeah, I can already smell that meatloaf. Let's go. Sheesh! Isn't it just Luke on there, Ed, for the demo? I mean, you can practice in training with Luke, but Luke is kind of lame. In my opinion. All right, we got our taters. Don't forget to put some salt in your water. Always, always, always. Uh-oh. <laughs> Doggo. Why is this on the side there? You're going to download it? Yeah, practice it, man. Dude, that's a record low in July. I believe that. I believe that, man. I definitely believe that. All right. Let's make that sauce. We got to make that fat glaze, baby. Who's having fun? Type one in the chat if you're vibing. Dude, he's over there. Watch the cord. Oh, he jumped over like an Olympian. Oh, if only you guys saw that. He almost took the stream out. He literally yeeted over the internet cord. Let's go. I thought we were about to F. Got him. Got him. What's up, Rich? Are you enjoying it, 45? I bet you are. So the meatloaf is already in the oven, Rich. So you have missed out on that. It's cooking away. But it's going to be cooking for like an hour or so. Yes. How are you, Rich? Welcome in, buddy. Rich, I'm Silver 3 in Street Fighters already. I played two hours off stream today. I went on mo numerous, like, six-plus win streaks. Three-fourths cup of ketchup. Holy shit. I did not rage so hard. That is not... <laughs> <laughs> they don't need to know that part, okay? Smile, relax. I don't rage. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't listen to him, y'all. <laughs> I did not throw my headset. That's a lie. Alright, we're putting three-fourths cup of ketchup in here. No, 
No, what really happened is my computer messed the game up. Yo, Boss TV with the six raid. Let's go, buddy. Oh, I'm judging. I'm judging. Welcome in. We're making some good shit. <laughs> nice. You guys got a copy pasta now. Let's go, boss. Let's go. All right, boss. Pick a number, bro. One through 35. We're opening a pack for your raid. Now we're making a meatloaf. Meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and a roasted asparagus. The meatloaf's in the oven already. All right, boss. Can we get some good vibe spams for boss's pack? Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for. That's what it's all about. Woo! All right. Ooh, he sniped! Spaghettios, dude. Spaghettios are fire, actually, though. Dude, you sniped one of the best packs in the box. Daddy, yes. Are you for real right now, dude? Dude, boss, I played more Street Fighters today. I'm, I'm silver three now. All right, what do we got here? Come on, come on, baby. All right, electric, Ursa Ring, Crystal Cave, Toy Catcher, Hopip, Hitmonchan, Fletchling, Tentacool, Pikachu, Dino, and no, dude, it wasn't in the cards. Damn, man. Well, thank you for the raid. Welcome in, everybody. And I hope you guys enjoy the stream. We're making the glaze for the meatloaf right now. We just put three-fourths cups of ketchup in there. Now we got to add a little bit more. We got some white vinegar going in there. I know, man. I know. You can't win them all. Just a little bit of white vinegar. Do we have not pulled... A good card from a pack in a very long time. We are in a little bit of a drought. I don't know what's going on. But it's not cool, man. The, the Pokemon gods are upsetty. Some brown sugar. Two and a half tablespoons of brown sugar. Want it to be sweet. I'm using light brown sugar, not dark. So, the reason why I got enraged, Ed, is because my. I don't know what happened, but my controller shut off. And, like, I couldn't move. I, all the sound in my game stopped working. Only during that match. 45 I do not I do not want 110 degree weather bro hell no some garlic powder just a teaspoon not too much let's do a little bit more a little garlic never hurt nobody a little bit of onion powder. If I can find it. Tiffs, did you hide the onion powder? <laughs> oh, it's right in my face. Holy shit, guys. It was literally right here. Yikes. You have it like... 35 degrees for the last five days. Oh my god. Let's go, Tiffs. Alright, I'll have a drink with you. I don't have anything crazy, though. I'll have one. I still got these from last stream. These vodka seltzers. Cheers, Tiffs. You got your drink ready? Dude, 35 degrees, though. Oof. I'm assuming that's Celsius. Yeah, he lives in Europe. 
What is 35? Can someone translate that to Fahrenheit for us plebs? American plebs? Some salt and pepper, of course. That's got to be pretty hot, though. About 95. Ah, that's not too bad. That's what it's like here on a good summer day. Don't tell me. Where's the pepper? Alright, we're doing an audible. I don't see any pepper. We're out of pepper, yo. So we're going to use ground white pepper. <laughs> the expensive pepper. The cosmetic of peppers. We have 40 to 50. Oh. Whew. Yeah, he lives in Texas, boss. Texas is rough. All right, we're going to mix this up. This sweet ketchupy glaze. It's, this is what it turned out to look like, y'all. It literally just looks like bright ketchup. But it's got that sweet, sweet twist to it. Last year it was 127 days straight of what? All right, we got our, our good old asparagus, yo. We're going to give it a, a rinse. One big, t uh, hold on, hold on. Cheeks cam. Cheeks cam, y'all. <laughs> when you wash these, you actually want to pat them dry afterwards because... If you don't pat your asparagus down, when they go in the oven, they're actually going to get really, really soggy. And we want it to have a crunchy texture, okay? It's really important. So we're going to make sure these get nice and dry for us. Be gone, moisture. Be gone. Yeah, you missed all of it, Ligma. You missed everything. The speech, the dinner all of it bro Let's see if we can shimmy this over are you ready are you having that drink tips better not have done it without me girl Also, boss, if we 1v1, I think I know how to counter your play now. I've learned. I got in the training room, bro. I don't want to imagine that 45. Hell no, dude. Hell no. Dude, boss, I'm silver I'm silver three already in two hours. <laughs> I went from bronze one to silver three in two hours, and I'm a total scrub. It, it's almost true rank wise. <laughs> oh, you had a bad day. Dude, I was going on huge win streaks i had i had like two nine game win streaks yeah i got a, i got a little seltzer for you tiffs you ready girl just let me know i'll have one little seltzer with you you lost two thousand points bro bro you were tilted to the moon I don't know what that's like. I never rage at that game. Right, Smile? Mm. 
Never. Dude, I slammed my desk today. I won't even lie. Because of my computer messing up. That's what it was, Smile. I didn't throw my headset. I lost to like the worst, worst player of all time because my computer froze and I couldn't play. That's how my 10 game winning streak ended. Damn, look at all this asparagus though. Sheesh. You know, we should snip the stems off. Yeah, let's do that. Snip, snip. Are you going to be up much longer, boss? I should be done with this in a little bit if you want a 1v1. See if you have to uninstall or not. <laughs> How long is Missouri's a hunt? Dude, we only get that for like a month. If... I don't want this beast. This looks a little sus here. Dude, just stay up till 6 like I did. Easy. <laughs> I'm not going to. No. I'm not a rager, bro. Have I? I've never raged on stream. It's a fact. That means I don't rage. Surely, right? You didn't rage when you played Dota? No shot. Milo's got 17 minutes, y'all, and then we glaze it. Things are happening. Things are happening in Manzi's kitchen, y'all. Here's those potatoes. Let me show y'all. Dude, it's kind of funny. Smile was playing Dota while I was playing Street Fighter, and we were both just getting talked, like, tilted to the moon. But we were playing different games. It was kind of hilarious. I only got upset, though, because I lost because I couldn't play. That was literally the reason. Because usually when you lose, you can be like, oh, it's because I did something stupid, right? But that wasn't the case this time. No siree. Alright, there we go. There's that. Here's those taters boiling. We got the asparagus ready to go. Asparagus are going to be a while though. So we're going to let those sit over there for a little while. We got to cut some garlic. Two cloves of garlic. This is going to be for the mashed potatoes. Hundred twenty days equals four months, so we get at four. Yeah, dude. How cold do the winners get? They are forty-five. There's shell on it. Doesn't look like it. Feels rubbery though. No, it's it's good. Okay. Type one in the chat if you're vibing, y'all. We are all super chill tonight. Let me know you're her. Fifty degrees in the day, thirty at night. That's not too bad.
Cheers, y'all. Where do you live, boss? Is it Austria? I think I saw that. Man, this garlic's a little sus. I won't lie. A little sus. Cheers, Mamos. Cheers, buddy. When you're boiling potatoes, y'all, the best way to check if it's done or not is to poke a fork through it. And if it comes, goes through quite easily, then it's time to drain the water. So we're going to do a quick test. Hold on, let's... Let's take this out. That'll make it easier. They're getting there, but no, not quite. Not quite. We're gonna cut a lemon for our asparagus. We're gonna make it a little zesty. We're going to put lemon juice right on top of it. And besides that, we're going to do a little Parmesan. While they're roasting. Just a little bit though. We don't want the cheese to be the star. I'm gonna have a little cheat here. Don't tell anybody, but we're gonna snack a little bit. You hear me? See if it's poisoned or not. Mm -hmm -hmm. That should be plenty right there. Plenty of cheese. Let's go. Cheers. Cheers, y'all. Ding! What's up, Scott? Welcome in, buddy. Chug it! I don't know. Cheers, Scott. Cheers, buddy. Welcome in. So, Scott, we were talking about pancakes, waffles, and French toast. Out of those three, which one is your favorite?
Hey, what's up, Lazy? Cheers, buddy. Waffles. We got some waffle fans in here. Where's the love for French toast? There's no love for the French toast. No, that's not your favorite. Come on now. Nobody wants that. Blue waffles. God, remember when that was trending? God, that was some nasty stuff, man. Dude, this smells delicious. Our nice little glaze. It's a mix of ketchup and some sugar. Brown sugar, to be exact. And then we got some other little bits of stuff in there, like some garlic. Some onion powder, pepper, salt. It's gonna be good, baby. Minus five. Sheesh. But yeah, you're in Austria, boss, right? Is that right? Austria. Okay, how is Austria? The reason why French toast is my go-to is because, dude, banana, banana bread French toast, man. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but doesn't that just sound delicious? Pretty boring. It looks pretty nice. I actually tuned into your IRL stream for a couple minutes one morning. I woke up and I was like, whoa, you're doing an IRL stream? You're touching grass, bro. I'm proud of you. Cheers, y'all. Honestly, I just really like French toast. I like, um... I don't know how to explain it. I just like the texture. It's sweet, but it's not overly sweet. Waffles get a little sweet because of the pocket. Dude, I can't imagine myself doing an IRL stream. I would get so, like, paranoid. I'd be like, dude, everyone's, like, staring at me and shit. Zucchini bread French toast. I don't know about that one, but all the other ones sound good. I do love zucchini bread though I do like zucchini bread All right, let's take a look see how our potatoes are doing See if they're ready Ooh, they're pretty close. I'd say like three minutes. Everything's looking great, y'all. The timing is impeccable. And then pancakes, Scott? Pancakes are just kind of meh, you know? Like a, a chocolate chip or like a blueberry pancake's pretty good, but... The texture, man. There's not a lot of texture on pancakes. It's just kind of like a soggy mess. Dude, boss, you also did like a workout stream? I I saw that for like a couple minutes too. You're brave, man. You are brave. Throw some banana bread into waffle iron. Hell yeah. I agree. I agree with that. That's a great idea. I would probably love that. Sometimes you want to do more. What do you mean sometimes you want to do more? More of what specifically? Oh, why don't you?
five. Perfect. Yeah, if you like doing it, do it, man. So we're just getting our milk ready for the uh, the mashed potatoes. We're gonna be putting a cup of milk in there. We're we're still a, a pretty good amount of time away from it, but we're just kind of chilling, so might as well get ready for it, you know. We're gonna get our hand mixer. If you guys haven't done mashed potatoes with a hand mixer you're missing out using a potato masher is so much more work it's actually exhausting but this is super easy if you have a hand mixer of course not everyone has one and i totally understand that but like if you do take advantage my guys take advantage I feel like if you get committed to workout streams, it like, you know, it, it gives you a reason to do it. Oh, you can still get tiny pieces in it. So you like red skin mashed potatoes then, yeah? You like the, the little texture? You'd probably love that. Yeah, if you use a hand mixer, it gets really smooth. So we're going to heat up our milk too, because you you don't want to add cold milk to mashed potatoes. That'll ruin it. It'll make it chunky. No, a red skin potato. There's, uh, you can make mashed potatoes with red skins and you leave the skin on them and it gives it a really nice texture. I don't know if you guys have red skin potatoes, but... I imagine you do. It's just a, it's a potato with a red skin. And you don't have to peel the skin off. We're gonna also melt our butter. What kind of potatoes do you guys have in Austria, usually? Imagine just normal ones then? Do you guys have Idaho potatoes? But yeah, you would- if you can find red skins, dude, I say go for it. Because what you just told me, you would love red skin mashed potatoes with the skin. Not all the skin. Oh, these are done. Look at that. This is what we're looking for, y'all. Look. Look how easily it pierces through. These are done. So we're gonna drain it. The normal and sweet potatoes. Yeah, there so there's russet potatoes. That's I think that's what you're probably meaning when you say normal. Which is uh, actually what we're using, so. And you have to peel the skin off of them. So we want to keep the pan, hot pan in there. Once the water's gone, you just throw it right back in there. Ooh, it's time to glaze this. Let's go. Let's go, y'all. Let's go. This... You ready to see this meatloaf, y'all? I'm so excited for this. Oh, hell yeah, dudes. Let's go. It's already getting good color. Look at that. Sheesh! Look at that. All right, let's get that glaze on it.
That looks so good. I'm gonna get a little spatula or something that I can spread it with. That's what she said. Here we go, this will work. I bet you're hungry now, boss. This is the good stuff right here. Woo! Let's go. What's up, chicken nugs? Hello, hello. This is the best part. Let's go. Oh, I know it. My last meal was 14 hours ago. Bro, go get some grub, dude. What are you starving for? You trying to slim down? Bruh. Now we can probably just use this. And we're just gonna spread it around the top here. Oh my lanta. Oh Lord, have mercy. This is what takes it to the another level, baby. One, oh, you're doing the one meal a day diet? Dude, that's a rough one. What time do you eat? Actually, I, you told me already, 14 hours ago. So if it was two in the morning. Okay, so you eat like around lunchtime, okay. Let's go. There we go. Cheese. Lost six. Nice, dude. I need to start working out and stuff again. I'm starting to get a little extra weight here. Especially when I eat good stuff like this, you know? All right, so this is going in for 20 more minutes, roughly. 15 to 20 minutes. We're gonna let the glaze do its do its magic here, okay? And we gotta get these mashed potatoes ready to go. But first, I wanna get these asparagus ready because those are going in the oven as soon as the meatloaf comes out. Because meatloaf, it takes about 10 to 15 minutes to cool. Never cut meat right when it gets done cooking because all the juice if you cut it is gonna fall out You got to let the juice stay in there So while that's happening, we're gonna get the asparagus thrown in there So for the asparagus we're gonna put some some olive oil on that just drizzle right on top Gotta be very careful here. This isn't the right bottle for it. Let's, you know what? Let's play this safe. I'm just gonna grab a little plate here, put a little olive oil, and then brush it. Cause I don't have a drizzler. This will work. We'll make it work. Dude, that's awesome though, boss. Congratulations, man. I always like to hear people that are, you know, having success with that kind of stuff. That's awesome, man. Keep it up. How much are you looking to lose? Six more, eight more. You got it, man. 
Be careful though once you're done, cause your body's I don't it's not starving, but it's easy to gain the weight back when you start eating. You need to slowly incorporate more food. I think you probably already know that though. That's the biggest thing people do with a diet like that though. As soon as they're done, they just start shoving their face with food. And then the pounds come back. Cheers everybody. Hope you're all vibing. And then we're gonna put some cheese on top of this. Good old fashioned cheese, baby. <laughs> Gotta have cheese, man. That's enough, Casey. Come on, man. Yeesh. Casey, come here, buddy. Oh, this is super awkward. Come here. Let's go. What a spoiled dog. Oh, the camera's broke. Hold on. Pause. I broke it. Sorry, y'all. Give me one second. There you go. Sorry about that. So we got the cheese on the asparagus. And we're going to squeeze some lemon on top as well. Oh, this is going to be super fire, y'all. Sheesh. A little bit of parsley on top. Again, we're using dried parsley because we don't have anything else, unfortunately. But that's okay, it's still gonna be delicious. And these uh, basically are ready to go. A little bit of pepper. Let's be careful here. We're putting white pepper on here. The cosmetic pepper, you don't even know it's on there, but man, is it on there. Is that the devil's lettuce? Bro, you don't like asparagus, Ligmantis? What do you mean? I know you're making a funny joke, but yeah, you're a bozo, you hear me? Bozo. Alright, we're making mashed taters, baby. Mashed taters. With a good stay. Who doesn't? Who doesn't, dude? Cheers. Cheers to that. Good. Our milk's still warm. Let's get this butter heated up.
make cheesy mashed potatoes. Ooh, that would be fire. Type one in the chat if you want cheesy mashed potatoes. I'm down. We can make that happen. I hate the smell when you... <laughs> Who doesn't, man? All right, Tiffs. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> You got it. We'll put some Parmesan in there, okay? This is gonna be so good. That's a great suggestion. This is so, oh, it smells so good in here, y'all. If I had like a, a manzy, manzy little pop-up shop, would you guys come in and eat this stuff? Does my food look good enough that you guys would want to eat it? All right, we're gonna put that garlic in there, okay? We got two cloves of garlic. Hold on. Okay, okay, I got you. Tell me when, Ligma, I know you can't hear me. Why am I talking about that? Not my best moment. Tells me to hold on because he's in ads and I start talking. Classic. Yeah, nothing happened. I waited, dude. I put the garlic in. I'm adding some salt. And we're going to put some uh, white pepper in because I can't find the black pepper. F's in the chat. We're gonna give this a little spin real quick. And then we're gonna add the butter. All right, y'all. We got almost a whole stick of butter, eight tablespoons, or teaspoon, no tablespoons, excuse me. So that's all gonna go in there. We're gonna mix it up again. I'm afraid, I'm afraid. Oh, it's already whipping. Check that out, y'all. You see that? It's already whipping. All right, we got our warm milk. Don't ever add cold milk into mashed potatoes. So we're going to add a cup of warm milk, as you can see, and watch what happens. Look at that, y'all. Cheese! It's whipped. It's whipped, all right. Look at that, baby. Cheese! All right, so we're going to put a little parsley in there. And yeah, I have not forgotten the cheese. Let's get some parsley in there, shall we? We're not putting green onions in it this time. All right, Tiffs and Eds. This is for you. And my sweet, sweet taste bud. Cheesier the better, yeah. What do you think? Daddy, yes! What do you think? More cheese? Type one in the chat if you want more cheese. 
What do y'all think? We're not doing all. <laughs> That's so much cheese. Bro, do you want it to just taste like cheese? <laughs> oh, Lord. All right, there. I'll do a little bit more. Okay. Let's see how it tastes. Dude, mashed potatoes aren't even an Italian thing, girl. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, that smells so good. All right, let's give it a little taste. You know what, though? That was my happy dance, y'all. I need a little more butter. We're gonna add a little bit more butter in there. Dude, that is a fire. That cheese was a good call. You know what, though? I think you might be right, Tiff. More cheese. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm, we're doing it. Empty the block. Empty the block. Oh, lordy lord. Come on, butter. Some cheesy mashed taters. Oh, man, look at this. It looks like a meringue. That is a thing of beauty. A thing of beauty. So yeah, we got some garlic mash or garlic parmesan mashed potatoes. That's all done. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. All right, let's see how it tastes. It's really smooth. Wow. Wow. That is so dang good. This turned out better than the last batch for sure. For sure. I think it's the cheese. Does cheese just make everything better? I think so. Dude, Italians got it right. We do. Garlic, garlic and cheese. We might as well just throw the rest in here, yeah. Might as well. I mean, there's only a little bit left anyways. Can't put this anywhere else. Keep it going. There's nothing left on here, bro. There's like, okay, okay. There's literally a sliver left, bros. You don't use this part. If you use this part, you're a bozo. That's the rind. The rind is not meant to be ate. Get your bed emote out of here. Get your bed emote out of here, bro. 
Also, boss, I'm so sorry about your diet. I'm sure this isn't helping. Actually, I know this isn't helping. Cheers, everybody. All right, our taters are done. The meatloaf is coming out in two minutes, y'all. And then the asparagus goes in. We're almost done. It's all coming together. Hell yeah, Scott. Hell yeah, bro. Sweet, sweet vibes. I'm sorry, boss. I'm sorry, bro. I know, man. Just wait till it's all done. The meatloaf is about to be done. And here's our our ass asparagus. Got olive oil, parmesan, some pepper on it, some salt. Look at that. And also a little bit of zesty lemon juice. Wow. Wow, that smells so good. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Y'all ready for this? Look at that. I think it needs a couple more minutes, honestly. But look at that. You know, no, I think it's probably done. I think it's probably done. But just to be sure, I'm gonna put in one more minute. You can see the glaze. You can see the glaze on the sides. You all see that? I'm gonna do one more minute. Always trust your chef instincts. Needs more cheese. You don't put cheese on a meatloaf. Type one in the chat if you would cheese up a meatloaf. It's probably pretty good, honestly. Cheers for cheese. It's. It's a little bit over two pounds of meat. Just a little bit. It's 90% beef. Dude, there's no way cheesy meatloaf is bad. That probably is fire. Alright, these are done. This has to be done. All right, let's get this asparagus in here in a minute. We do need to turn it up a little bit. We're doing 425 for this. 
Yeah, that is a girthy boy, all right. I mean, we put breadcrumbs and egg in there, so that's gonna thicken it some. Um, yeah, we put a lot of stuff in the mix. There's onions in there. I've seen people do like cheddar on meatloaf actually, now that I think about it. But yeah, always make sure your meat rests for a little bit, y'all. So we're gonna let this meatloaf rest until the asparagus is done before we cut into it. We want all the juice in there to stay in there. And we're gonna cover our mashed potatoes because we want them to be warm. But let me tell you, man, it smells so good. It smells sweet, meaty. It's to die for. It is simply to die for. Type one in the chat if you want to see a Pokemon card opened right now. I'm feeling like this next pack is gonna have heat in it. I just know it. We've we've been getting blue balled. There's no way. How do you feel about Milo sandwiches? Yeah, dude. I'm down for that. Hell yeah. Some wheat bread with some beef in the middle. Delicious. I'd eat that all day. All day, every day. Two packs? Oh, I don't know. That's getting a little carried away. Pick it. Pick a number, Scott. One through thirty-five. This pack will be yours. Dude, beef Wellington. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna announce it. If we hit three hundred followers on this channel, it's gonna take time. I will make a beef Wellington. I know a lot of people have been asking for that. 300 followers, Beef Wellington stream. And it has to be legit, bro. Twenty-four. All right, this is your pack right here. Few, dude, you sniped the only fusion strike pack in the whole box. The only one. Will we get a Gengar or a Mew, perhaps? There's only one way to find out. All right, Scott. Let's see what we got here for you. A prime ape. A Shauna. Corvuspire. Toxel. Sil Sigalif. Stuffle. Growlithe. This card's adorable, man. Clauncher, Mudkip, and ah, oh, dude, dude, we're just not getting anything, man. What is going on here? I suck at. That's right. I suck at picking packs. I do. Man, oh man. Yikes.
It's just not meant to be. All right, so these asparagus are going in at 425 for about 12 to 15 minutes. The thicker the asparagus, the longer it's going to take. So I'm expecting these not to take too long, except for maybe these two pieces right here. If I'm going to say 12 minutes, we'll probably do maybe even 10. So I'm going to set it for 10 minutes. And then once that's ready, we cut into the meatloaf. We get the uh, plating ready and we dig in. Dang, this is the last thing Manzi ever recorded. Fly high, sweet prince. What do you mean? I'm confused. Are you stoned? Yeah. What's up, Zach? How you doing? How you doing? How you been? How lucky do I feel? Not very lucky. Dude, we haven't pulled anything from these packs in like three weeks. So that would be my response. Not lucky. Sorry, I'm just doing a little cleanup, y'all, while we're chilling. I mean, if you want to go for another one, I think we're definitely due, man. We are definitely due for a big hitter. If you're thinking about redeeming a pack. You could save it till tonight, though. I will be streaming later, y'all. I'll probably play a little Zelda and a little Street Fighter, so... If you guys are, you know, down for that, of course... See me get gold tonight. Gold Street Fighter 6 Manzi. Let's go. Thank you for the 1,000 Doritos. Let's go, Ligmantis. Let's go. But you'll have the wife watch you to go to sleep. Dude, does your wife watch the stream, Mamos? Leg Mantis with the bed emo. Get out of here, bro. <laughs> You'll convert her. <laughs> I mean, she's already started enjoying Pokemon. Even if she's not watching, she's still becoming one of us, you know? One of us. One of us. Okay, we got six minutes on the clock, y'all. Who's excited? God, this looks so fire. Do it. Do it, mamas. You won't. Dude, we're going to pull something fire, too. I'm. When I say it, man, we are primed. 
We are seriously due for something. It's been a long time. At least two weeks. Let's go, Mamos. Let's go, buddy. So, Scott, what, what games do you like to play? I haven't seen you in any of the gaming streams, but what is your fancy game? God, this, these taters are so good, y'all. And I am starving. I can't help myself. Look at that. Just look at those mashed potatoes. Hmm. So freaking good, man. Tiss with the call, the cheese. Diablo 4. I played that a little bit. I beat the story a couple weeks ago. I'm only like level 60, though. It's fun. What class are you? Same. Dude, Rogue is just the way. You have to, man. Like, if you're not playing a Rogue... Oh, that cheese. That cheese looks great on there. You're like, you know, you're hindering yourself, man. It's it's just the way to go. Yeah, if I wasn't... I, If I wasn't playing a rogue... I would probably honestly be a druid, maybe. A druid or a sorcerer? I don't see a lot of sorcerer players. Necros are always cool by design. Cheeks cam. But, you know, they're just boring. They never are as cool as they look. Because, you know, everybody wants to be that unholy badass. You know? Everybody. Everybody. Dude, Zelda, Zelda 2 stream tonight, Ligmantis. It's going to be lit lit. A minionless? They have minionless? That's what I would want to play. Doesn't even look like the minions are that strong. I could be wrong. I'm not that far in the game, but like every time I play with one, their minions aren't even that OP. But they're, you know, they protect you, so. That's a, a serious, serious plus, of course. All right, let's see how this meatloaf looks, y'all. I bet y'all are just waiting to see it. Because I know I am. I'm ready to dig in. What's the best way to get this? You can swap out the minions for damage and stuff. I, I do know that too, yeah. Uh, we probably need a thicker knife. I guess let's go with this. Grats, Mamos, with the snag. Let's go, dude. Oh, these are looking done. Oh, yeah. One more minute on those bad boys.
Getting the first piece out is always the hardest one. I need to just like shimmy it out. Oh, hell yeah! Sheesh! Y'all want to see the inside of it? Here, hold on, hold on. <laughs> That's what she said. Look at this, look at this. Oh, let me get these out of here. These are done for sure. Look at this. Let's go, man. Clean off this plate a little bit. Ooh, that sauce is good too. All right, I'm gonna make the play real quick and then I'm gonna show y'all. Okay. Don't worry, I'm not scamming you. This is how we do it in America, baby. America. Oh, dude, these asparagus too. Look at that. Clean. Yo, dude. All right, let's flip this around. Let's see what we got ourselves here. Bruh, look at this, y'all. Let's go. Look how good that looks. Let's go. I did wonders. All right, get out of here, bozos. Look at that. Look at that glaze. Look at those cheese asparagus, the mashed potatoes with the cheese. Even... Casey wants a piece of that. Let's go. How do y'all think I did? You want a juice reveal? Let's see if I can get this meatloaf out of the pan. I should be able to. That would, uh let y'all be able to see it for real before we dig in let's see if I can yeah it's a meatloaf it got all the grease out of it you don't want a greasy meatloaf we could though we could use we could use the grease on the bottom for something else for sure Oh yeah, this is gonna work. Sadly, some of the juice, though. Of the glaze, I mean. Got rubbed off of it. Oh no! Get back on there. See, it's like it never happened. <laughs> You won't even know. Holy moly, baby. 
All right, you ready? You ready? Check this out. We did it. The meatloaf, y'all. Look at that. It's not well done. It's got some color still. It's delicious. Sheesh. And I got ketchup all over my coat. Because we want it to be juicy, baby. That looks so good, y'all. Alright, let's try it. Let's try it. Let's see how we did. Again, one more time. Bye, ya. Uh... What's up, Yella? How you been, buddy? Let's get a picture, of course. Well, I'm about to tell you, Yella, just how good it is. Gotta get that glaze in the bite. Let's see how we did. Let's see. Oh man, we did good I think. Look at that bite. Look at that. Look at that nice glaze on the top. We got a little mashed taters in it. Wow. Wow. Guys, this is, this is really freaking good. These mashed potatoes, man. These cheesy Parmesan parsley and garlic mashed potatoes. Wow. Let's see how the asparagus turned out. Wow. That's the worst part about asparagus, though. Sometimes they just don't, you know. You want to see some hot sauce? I got you, I got you. I'll put a little bit, I'll try it. What do we got here? Some tapados? Tapatillo? Who likes tapatillo? Pick one, y'all. Pick one. Are we doing sriracha? Or are we doing tapatio? Dude, I think sriracha would actually be so good with this. Because it's already sweet. And sriracha is a sweet hot sauce. That's just me. Tapatio? Tapatio. All right. Hold on. Let's let's get a bite. Let's get a little bit of that glaze on there. Give it a little tapatio. I'll try sriracha too. Get a little tapatio on there. You see that? See that right there, baby. Wow. This is one of the best things I've made, y'all. I'm going to be honest, y'all. Out of all the things we've done in Manzi's Kitchen on stream, this is this is there. 
All right, let's try this. Let's try the Sriracha. Oh no, that ain't it. Why is it so liquidy? No, 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 we're not doing the dab again. It honestly wasn't that bad, but I would be lying if I told you my stomach didn't hate me for it. That would be a lie. Okay, now it looks fine. My stomach was not pleased. All right, here we go, here we go. Little sriracha, sweet sriracha on there. Oh. No disrespect to Tapatio, but this sriracha is perfect for this. Absolutely perfect. Wow. You know, I'm not even... We're doing it. This is what I want. Sriracha. Let's go. Hmm. Wow. All right, y'all. Well, that's it. That's all I got for you. We need to do a dessert stream soon. Type one in the chat if you want to see a dessert stream. We make like a fat cake or something. You want to watch? Okay. You can watch me eat. You got it. This is so good. One 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 Q one. Wow. The taters are so smooth, too. Wow. Oh, Ponyta. I gotta get that one. Hold on. You know what? We're you ultra balling this. We're not we're not messing around. We're getting this Pokemon. Yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Another fantastic evening in Mansi's kitchen. Because I had a blast, man. You still want to keep watching, Tiss? <laughs> Just watching me eat? Wow. Oh, look at the color on that. I didn't get Ponyta even with the Ultra Ball? Wow. Wow. Are you kidding me?
feel like this is like an ASMR stream. Clean up. <laughs> no shot. Is this what it's like to do ASMR? You just sit here and do weird stuff. Hmm. Diaper baby, you want to see it, buddy? We just got done digging in. I got you. I got you. I can show you it all. We made a fantastic meatloaf. It's actually so fire. Some roasted asparagus. And some garlic parmesan mashed potatoes. What's up, OG? Welcome in. Fortunately, you missed it, pretty much. But, you're here now. Get that off that heat. I know you wouldn't eat it, OG. You don't eat, like, anything, bro. Testing, testing. Okay, we back, we back. Oh no, the vibes! The vibes! <laughs> the dog assassin! Hold on, hold on! Alright, we back, we back. Act normal, act normal. It never happened. OG! <laughs> Alright, what do you want to see me eat, Tiffs? Taters? Meatloaf? I got a little bit more room. Manzanita's got a little bit more room. It was staged. <laughs> I was talking earlier about the dog, and he got it at the end. Potates and meat? Make another plate. I'll have a little bit more. You guys trying to fatten me up? You're gonna put me in a food coma And then I can't play Street Fighter tonight Keep that in mind Y'all are gonna cause it Is that what you really want? Eat it like a kid from Christmas Story. <laughs> all right, this is all I'm eating, bros. Manzanita barely has. Bruh. What was that? It just squirted. That's what she said. Hmm. Sriracha is it. It's it. It's sweet. A little spicy is perfect for this. 
I don't even remember what the kid eats like in Christmas Story. I'm gonna be honest. So these potatoes, OG, it's garlic, parmesan, parsley potatoes. Mm-mm-mm. So, OG, I found another Blue Eyes box. Guy wanted a hundred and ten dollars for it. I got mine for seventy, bro. It's no skin. Hmm. Wow. One hundred and ten, bro. Yeah, no shot. Mm. All right, y'all. Tips, are you going to keep streaming, girl? What's going on with you over there? Even getting two blue eyes, you still wouldn't make your money back. That is way too high for that product. Well, you need to let me know in like two minutes, girl. I gotta send the party somewhere. But yeah, I'm so glad y'all had a blast. The food is fire. Thanks for hanging out as always. I am gonna be streaming. At like 10 o'clock, we're going to play a little Zelda, a little Street Fighter. It's going to be fun. I'm going to hit gold in Street Fighter. Poggies. It's going to be free, dude. Absolutely free. But yeah, thanks so much for hanging out. Thanks for the uh, the sub smile. Thanks for the raid boss TV. And I really do appreciate y'all. I mean, I'm literally doing something I love to do. And you guys are all hanging out with me. Not everybody can say they get to do something like this. So thank you guys so much for being here every week. I really do appreciate that. All right, have you decided, Tifferonis? You are? Okay. All right. We're sending the party over right now. Spam the emote, show some love. Hang out, bring the good vibes. You all know it. Love ya here at Manzy TV. Thank you so much. I'll see you in a little bit, y'all. Peace. I'm out of here. <laughs>